Hello my dear friends, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this particular video, we are going to talk about some of the new features of EC2. There are many videos related to EC2 on our channel already, but these are some of the new features which got launched recently and I think it is really important for us to understand all of that. Okay, so we will be talking about placement groups its types, what are different types of placement group, what are the differences between them. We'll try to present it in a very easy manner for you to compare and understand the three, which are cluster, partition, and spread. These are three types of placement group. We'll also talk about what are these elastic inference and elastic graphics option which you see. So before we go ahead and talk about it, let us just quickly see where these options appear. So if you are trying to launch an EC2 instance, you are aware of the seven step process. Normally in this step number three, you keep seeing a lot of changes. Whenever you know new feature comes up, you see some new setting available here. So let us go through all of these quickly, especially the new ones. Come here to placement group. In the placement group, if you want to add your instance to placement group, click here you will see two options one is of course you can add to existing placement group which you have already created if that is the case you will be able to just you know write the name of your placement group which is already existing and select it understand that the name of placement group should be unique okay within your account within a region if you have to create a new placement group click on add to new placement group and you can give the name of the placement group you will also have to specify what will be the type of your placement group there are three types possible cluster spread and partition as i showed you few minutes back so with if you go ahead and choose cluster nothing you don't have to give any further option uh, in case of spread also no mother no further options required but if you are choosing partition you also need to specify that out of multiple partitions which will be created this particular instance should be placed in which partition so if you look at this particular thing here what we are saying is how many partitions first of all should be created maximum allowed are seven and in the next step you will say where do you want to actually place this particular instance whether you want to place it in first partition or in the second partition or in case if you go ahead and say i want to create six then here you will start seeing one to six or you just want to choose auto distribution let amazon decide and kind of distribute it equally among different partitions so we'll talk more about these placement groups just in a while give me a minute after the placement group you also have some new features like capacity reservation if you have not studied about this yet i have a video about this on the channel you can find the link in the description below or press on the i icon on the right hand side same way cpu options this also came some time back you can now specify that in case you do not want to use the use the available amount of cpu right with your ec2 instance rather you want to use lesser amount of virtual cpus then you can specify cpu options there is one more detailed video on this as well on our channel you'll find the link in the description below these things you know already uh, related to tenancy also we have a very good detailed video if you want you can go ahead and watch it the last part is elastic inference as you can see so this came some time back this is basically an option for you to add gpu capabilities to your ec2 instance now here is something for you to know if you are launching a linux machine then you will see this thing elastic inference where you can go ahead and you know if you try to just check this you will be asked to choose that how big or how much capacity do you want to add how much capacity of gpu processing do you want to add to this there are as you can see medium large and x large which will give you 1 gb 2 gb and 4 gb of uh, gpu processing um, uh, capability to your uh, ec2 instance whereas in case you are launching a windows instance then you will see something called elastic graphics so which is for graphics acceleration here the terminology is like eg1 medium large x large so here it is eg1 and here it is eaeia1 right so that's the difference uh, what's the difference between elastic inference and uh, elastic graphics with the windows you get elastic graphics and that is used more for like th uh, 3d rendering type of work whereas 
with the Linux, you get elastic inference, which, where, which you know you can go ahead and use for deep learning type of projects. Okay, if you want, you can read more about it. I will leave the links in the description below. Now, coming back to our placement groups, you know, we were saying that there are three types of placement groups, and it's very important to understand what are the differences between them. So, I have summarized it for you in a very easy manner here so that you can compare and understand all of them. So, till some time back, there used to be only one type of placement group, meaning even there was no type specified. Now that there are multiple types available, so let's understand the three types and the differences between them. The first one is, is cluster, then partition, then spread. So, first of all, let's see when do you go ahead and use cluster. So, read this one which I am highlighting. When you want that multiple nodes or basically multiple EC2 instances, they should be placed in such a manner that they can talk to each other or the data transfer between those instances can happen at a very fast speed, like speeds up to 10 Gbps. Then you go ahead and put your instances into cluster placement group. So what AWS tries to do is, AWS will try to place your instances very close to each other possibly on the same host as much as possible or else very close so that between these instances data transfer can happen really fast. It is also recommended that if you are going to place it in the cluster placement group then try and choose the instances which have enhanced networking available. Uh, in order to see which instance type has enhanced networking available or not, you can look at the step number two while you are launching the EC2 instance. In the right hand side, you will have a column which says whether it has enhanced networking or not. Uh, with enhanced networking available, the speed of network traffic basically on the instance would be really high. Okay, so <clears throat> that is the cluster one. Now, with that explanation, you should be able to guess that. Of course, when the instances have to be kept close, because of that particular reason, this placement group does not span across AZs. It will be within one availability zone. Okay. Now, let's go to other two, partition and spread. So, first of all, partition. As I had shown you in the, you know, in the management console few minutes back, that when you choose partition, you have to, you have to basically specify that how many partitions do you want to create. Now, maximum allowed partitions are 7 per availability zone. Okay, Per availability zone, there can be 7 partitions. As you saw in the drop down, 1 to 7. What are these partitions? These partitions are nothing but a mechanism through which Amazon ensures that one partition would not share the underlying hardware or the underlying rack with any other partition. So, if, for example, if I go ahead and create three partitions in an availability zone, you can be sure that partition one would be on a separate track, partition two would be on a separate track, partition three would be on a separate track. Rack is RACK, I mean, basically the physical box you can think, right? You can go ahead and create maximum seven partitions per AZ, and then in every partition, you can put any number of instances as you want. As I already showed you, uh, while creating the placement group, you can say how many partitions do you want to create and then you can also specify that this particular instance which is getting launched in which partition number should it be placed. Okay, so what is the benefit of uh, going with this partition type of placement group? When should you go ahead? When you want that your instances should be distributed in such a manner that a group of instances would be on one, one physical device and another group of instances would be on another physical device and so on. You, you uh, normally want this type of behavior in distributed and replicated workloads, uh, you know, with the applications or softwares like HDFS, HBase, Cassandra, these type of stuff. So if you want to go ahead and run these uh, software, you may go ahead and use the partition strategy. Please understand that this particular placement group type can span across availability zones. So for example, within a region, I may go ahead and create, let's say a placement group, which will have partitions in availability zone A, partitions in availability zone B and so on, right? That is possible. The last type is spread. Now spread is basically the type when you want to 
place each and every instance on a different track. That's all. I mean, somewhat it's like partition, but then it is a bit different because you have limitation on the number of instances you can place in this placement group. So the limitation is that you can keep maximum seven instances per availability zone, right? So let's say if within a region you have got uh, two availability zones, then you can maximum launch 14 instances in a placement group which is of spread type if it has let's say if the region has got three availability zones then seven into three you can launch maximum 21 ec2 instances in the spread type of placement group okay so it's basically in every az maximum seven you can launch and every instance would be placed in a different physical rack that's what is your uh, spread uh, type when will you go ahead and use this so see see this last one applications that have small number of critical instances that should be kept separate from each other right so you don't want two components to fail at the same time so basically you go ahead and keep each and every instance on a separate physical rack that's what it is of course you need to decide based on your application which one would be suitable uh, there is somewhat a similarity between partition and spread because in both the cases maximum if you see seven physical divisions are happening so that is the similarity actually between partition and spread now one point you need to look at row number three here you cannot use placement group with the dedicated host tenancy in case you are not clear about different tenancy models which are shared dedicated instance and dedicated host there's a very good video uh, the link you will find in the description below so uh, you cannot use dedicated host tenancy model with any of the placement group with the cluster one you may go ahead and use shared and dedicated instances with the partition one you can go ahead and uh, use shared and dedicated instances the only thing is with dedicated instances you can only create maximum of two partitions okay uh, in case of spread of course it is not supported for dedicated hosts and dedicated instances both. So you can only run it with a shared tenancy model, right? So those are a few important things. And one last point before we go ahead here, what are the instance types which you can launch in, uh, you know, in the different uh, types of placement group? So in the cluster one, what happens? Uh, though you can go ahead and mix instance types, but it's not recommended. Uh, normally, uh, because why it's not recommended? Because EC, Amazon will try to launch uh, these instances together, probably try to place it on the same physical host, and hence it would be good if it is of the same EC2 instance type, right? Uh, you also need to remember that the EC2 that all the EC2 instance types are not supported. Uh, for the cluster placement group in the bottom part I have given the different EC2 instance types which are supported So some of the older generation instances would not be supported that you should know uh, When it comes to partition and spread you can very well go ahead and mix EC2 instance types So meaning you can have multiple types of EC2 instances that is possible so that was the overall explanation about placement groups. I hope you understood uh, that how placement groups work and this table would give you a good understanding and comparison between the three. And if somebody asks you, you would be able to explain it. If you understood, if you like this video, go ahead and share it with your friends, hit the like button. Uh, you may let me know how did you find this video by writing in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel to get more such videos and do not miss to look at the other videos to know all the EC2 properties. You will find all the links in the description below. Thank you guys. See you again. Bye-bye.